Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy Decepticon Wild Rider. This is one of the Stenticons, Stunticons rather. Uh, this is the second one from the uh, Legacy line. We've already taken a look at uh, Dragstrip. So next we take a look at uh, Wild Rider. So he's one of the kind of uh, deluxe size figures. I've also got Motormaster. So that'll be then three out of the five that we'll be able to uh, take a look at. Uh, this is him in the packaging. There's um, no plastic apart from the uh, the ties. Uh, I'd imagine at some point they'll replace those and just have the kind of uh, kind of wooden ones, that, uh, wooden ones or kind of what would you call them, cardboardy sort of ones that tie in behind. Um, yeah, but um, one of the reasons you'll notice as well that these ones aren't on ball pegs it's just to stop people actually removing and taking off the the heads of these, uh, which they have had an issue with with other lines. Um, you see, twenty three pounds the price I paid for it. That was at uh, my uh, local comic shop. It's where I pre order a lot of my stuff. Got some nice artwork on the side here. Wild Rider in his robot mode here with the two guns here uh, and then in vehicle mode the two guns peg on the top here as well and then some other figures featured in the legacy line and then on the back you get uh, a picture of him in robot mode and also vehicle and a little QR code will take you over to his um, kind of bio and stats and things like that. Um, 13 steps of transformation, uh, nothing else in terms of uh, info on this guy. Uh, that's all you get. Uh, what we'll do is we'll open up and we'll take a look at him. Right, here we are. We've got him out of the box. Uh, he looks pretty good. Um, there was a, a little thing that I did notice just in terms of paint job on his arm here. Where a bit of over spray or whatever. So that's unfortunate. And that, that might be just, that's going to be one of those things where most people's that I'm sure will be fine on mine. There's a little bit of a mistake. Um, other people's should be fine. Uh, paintwork is decent on him though. The uh, face is nice. I mentioned about the head not being on a on a ball peg. Uh, and I think that is just down to them not wanting people to rip the heads off. Um, swap them out. But the head sculpt is pretty nice with these kind of little ear bits uh, sticking out. If I can get it to focus. Um, and the uh, the face looks nice, the paint in there, and the, the kind of like almost like purpley silver for the eyes, silver and blue down here. It's all done really nicely. Uh, lovely red over the top, that uh, little blemish there, and then it's almost like a metallic light red going through here as well, which will come out in vehicle mode, obviously, and um, some nice silver paint on the hubcaps coming through um, yeah this bottom half is a little bit bland and you've also got kind of like the holes and things which will be probably come in handy for the the transformation and things like that uh, so that's that um, comes with a couple of guns so you can hold them in his hand individually they look like the same ones that came with drag strip they're not but they're they're sorry i'm just looking at them here they are very similar so but he'll hold them in his hands just fine um and then he can also peg together as well and then if you wanted to see him alongside his old buddy i'm sure we can arrange that and you see, actually, Dragstrip looks a little bit, um, he's a little bit taller. It looks a little bit chunkier. Um, so this one is a little bit slimmer. You can tell even this, just this chest section here is a lot uh, thinner. I've kind of got this bit section here mistransformed. The way that it's supposed to go is supposed to split out like this. And down like that 
But for me, it just kind of looks more clunky with these bits down here. So I've left it like this with these bits up here like that. Um, I just prefer that look on it. It looks a little bit cleaner. So the head rotates around. I'll go all the way around. Nothing. Oh, there's a little bit of, oh, I say the up and down and everything else like that is mainly down to the transformation. So it's just that wiggle in there. The arms rotate all the way around and out like that. Rotation there and also at the arm there. There is a little bit of hollowness inside, as you can see. Uh, the waist does rotate and that goes all the way around. The legs can go up to here, back to there, and then out all the way to the side, even further. You get rotation at the top here, which are the mushroom peg. And then the bend and knee is actually quite far down. So it's, it's uh, just here and it's on a little... It's almost like a little ratchet, so it goes there and then there, um, we, which is all right. I would prefer it to have a bit of a smoother transition through, but uh, it's fine. No paint whatsoever on this bottom half. Would have liked to seen something just on these bits here, just to add something, because the top half is really well done, but there's nothing on the bottom half. And then the feet, you get uh, this kind of ankle tilt, um, thing here and then feet forward uh, nothing back but you get more than enough to kind of get him in some decent poses like that so yeah I do think he's probably better than drag strip now um, I know a few people when they got hold of drag strip were saying about the portions um, and I do feel that a little bit having had the two of them side by side so I'm gonna just stand the two of them up straight again just to so you can see what I mean and this guy seems a little bit narrow and the drag strip almost feels a little bit too wide I don't know what do you think? It does seem like he's a little bit too wide. Just in my opinion. Put the two of them side by side. There he does come out a fair bit bigger. But he looks pretty decent. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with him so far. Um, we're getting transformed. The other thing I mentioned is you can combine the guns. So you just peg them together like that. And uh, oh, I could sneeze, uh, and then it's kind of like pearlescent, pearlescent, uh, paint on here, and you can hold that in there. I think it looks a bit daft as a double gun, so I think it's better, um, single as it is. Transform it, I'm going to give it a go. Looks like you just fold the hands in as you would expect, and this side's a little bit stiffer than the other. But it does go in. You're just going to line those up or click them into place here. Looks like the head is just going to open up and go into there like that. This bit, whole section is going to come forward. Uh, so this looks like it opens up here. Probably going to twirl these bits around. Here like that. Open that up and it looks like this just folds up into that space there. I haven't actually looked at the instructions for this guy so I'm just kind of experimenting but I think that's how it goes. Click that into place. That's going to click into there at the top here as well. Come on. There we go. This is all translucent red, which has then been painted, uh, which looks pretty good. These bits are going to click into place over here. Don't know if that's supposed to flip around. Or is it supposed to... 
go in underneath. Let's have a look. So let's open this bit back up. Just looking to see if this bit will go in here, maybe. Oh, managed to take that bit off. It looks like that is supposed to go in there, doesn't it? Or does it? <laughs> this is where I just double check it real quick. Uh, have a look underneath where those bits go. No, uh, it looks like they just go in as as we had them. Yeah, so it looks like it's fine. So it looks like you just. Um, bring these bits back over I uh, yeah so that bit just here this bit here just pegs into there like so uh, that's what it is I've I got it pegged in wrong. So yeah, it was as it was. Just bring that back over here. Close this bit back up. That will then peg into the front of there, like so. Uh, these bits here. That looks if it wants to peg in, but it's a not quite tight enough and then these are gonna peg into here this on this side as well it's all starting to shape up you can see where it just pegs into the side of there so we just need to kind of line it all up uh, and then these bits here come in and slot into here Like that you can see where they slot in underneath like that and then this bit will come down and clip into there there you go and then you've got him in his vehicle mode I'll get him kind of tidied up a little bit and uh, then we'll take a proper look at him yeah so um that's him pretty much done uh it doesn't really sort of peg together he does sorry i correct he does peg together or okay but there's sections in him where you think that should be line up a little bit better these arms don't quite straighten out so there's a little, like a little bit of a, a gap in here with them and i have tried um, applied pressure but I just can't get them to, to line up the way that I want to so there's a little bit of a gap in there a little bit of gap in here again it's all clicked in uh, just doesn't feel like quite the tolerance there is a little, like um, this bit does drop down but it does still allow you to roll the wheels absolutely fine doesn't cause any interference um, silver on the wheels as I mentioned is a uh, nice paint going through and a single stripe which is lovely Decepticon symbol on here which is uh, good uh, and then you've got the translucent plastic red used for here with the paint on top which carries on really well throughout so it doesn't look like a mishmash which sometimes it, it can do with these sort of figures um, but the back is plain and the front is plain so there isn't a whole load of paint uh, where it's done it's done well and there he is alongside drag strip and you can see when they do come together 
like this in this mode they do kind of scale well together like that so they do look good and they are kind of roughly the same size in this mode it's just with drag strip the way that he transforms is really this bit comes out um, to kind of give him wider shoulders but in this mode I think they look just about right if anything this guy's a, a little bit uh, wider and then you can add guns to Wild Rider and so you can add them individually on here so you just peg them on like that on either side and I think that's that looks all right uh, it's not too you know I'm not overly in love with the guns on here but I think it's probably better that you have the two on there on there so if you are adding the guns you can have one on each side and do it that way again you as I mentioned you do have the option of combining the guns um, which is in my opinion I don't really not a big fan of it combining it like that um, if you are doing it it means you do have to peg it into one of those holes which makes the guns just off center um, which I'm not a big fan of so if I was going to use them probably do it like that and have them like so yeah so that's the two of them together pretty good satisfied overall and the next one to look at is going to be motormaster so uh stay tuned for that one coming up soon uh, thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all soon bye bye for now